Facebook has been very receptive to social media. You've seen on uh, on internet surveys and so forth that Pittsburgh was listed as like the third bloggiest city in the country at one point. <laughs> Usually you pay about a couple hundred dollars to go to something like this and everyone's local. You know, this is pretty cool. These are these are our kind of people. We had no idea that that we were up in the north. We had no people in the south or the west or the east. We're all about doing the same thing that we were passionate about. And we found this whole community and it just, oh, it was pretty cool. I think the reason that something like a pod camp catches on here to the extent that it does, uh, it might be, honestly, it might be two reasons. One is uh, Pittsburgh, for some reason, historically, has been very up to speed with the internet. We've always, like, a broadband caught on here faster than it did in a lot of other uh, cities and, and counties in the country. I think people are coming here because what we're doing is, it's great. I mean, we're putting on, we have great speakers, we have a lot of great people all in one room, and everybody wants to be there. They want to feel like they're a part of it. You know, PodCamp. Since we found PodCamp, um, and we've been able to kind of flourish at PodCamp. We've brought people in who are experts from other cities, and we're learning. And, um, you know, we're still kind of trying to find our place um, within the bigger cities. So um, I think that this has really been an outlet for Pittsburgh. There's not a whole lot of pressure to impress people at Pittsburgh because we all sort of get along. We all realize we're in this together and we're probably all Steelers fans. So that somehow unites us, whether we've met or not. So the good thing about that is you can sort of walk into the room and feel like you have something in common with these people right off the bat. A lot of times at any event, and even a pod camp, which is pretty democratic to begin with, the, the other ones that I've gone to in Boston, uh, I've gotten feedback from the folks who've gone to uh, Toronto, New York, and so forth. Um, there's a lot of technology people there, there's a lot of business people there, and there's a, there's a small hurdle to jump, there's a small wall to, to make sure that you really do belong in this group. I think with Pittsburgh, we're, to a certain extent, we're almost so informal about the way that we present the information uh, that it's very hard to feel uh, intimidated or uh, ostracized by this group. And I think that once people uh, find similarities in uh, interests and they bring them together, it kind of explodes. I think Pittsburgh is definitely holding its own and it's really cool to see that you know it's, it's getting better every year because more people are finding out about the stuff that's going on here and even people from you know different states are traveling here to go to these pod camps and that's great to see. So as a result I think the fact that you're sort of welcomed from the moment you walk in the door means you're far more likely to tell other people about your experience which means people who might not have heard about it otherwise or might have written it off as this thing people do in the dark in the attic when their moms aren't looking turns out to be something you, that you realize the guy next door is doing and it's totally normal and legal.